But are you nervous about maybe the AI taking over any of this? I'm very confused. I'm very, very <laughs> confused because I, if, if you were asking me about AI I don't know, a year ago or two years ago, I would have said, yeah, AI. Yeah. What's yeah. that thing, you know? Yeah. They've been trying for ages. And what I've seen every single time a new paper comes out, I'm shocked. Yeah, you know, it's I'm happening surprised. really fast. That's the thing, right? It is very fast and it is incredible. Me journey, stable diffusion, chat GPT and all of those, those things. They're really incredible. So I envy the people that can look at those things and, and feel like they are tools that give us more opportunities and more power. I, maybe they are right, but also I feel like there are tools that are making something that was to me magical, more of a, a mechanical process or yeah. something that is completely, you can instigate, but is not fully your control. So of all of these incarnations, I I kind of like the the implementation that Adobe is doing in Photoshop because it's still a tool, right? So that's a professional package. You have to pay for it. It's a tool. It does incredible things. But I want to believe, I'm telling myself that this is like the the normal evolution of the spot healing brush. So before the spot healing brush, you would spend hours just cloning yeah. away cables, things like yeah. that. It would take time and it would be part of your job. Now you do it like in one go. Are you missing that part of the job? I don't. <laughs> so as long as it's giving me something that it's a tool and I'm providing the substance and it's making me faster, I'm okay with it. The minute is providing all answers, <laughs> well, then maybe I will have to look for another job. But I think every job will be affected in a way or another. Yeah. So yeah. I think society as a whole will have to learn how to deal with those changes. And I, I'm not surprised, I, I'm, I'm glad, I'm not surprised that the big players are saying AI, threatens a lot of aspects that, of our society. Because for me, it's, it is true. Maybe as creatives, we were supposed to be the last one affected, but we've been the first ones, especially because of Mid Journey. We had a little bit of a sort of reality check early on. And I've been talking with friends that are not in, in our fields about these things. And I could tell they wouldn't grasp the scope of those changes. And probably now they are, or they will in the next few months. So it's kind of, yeah, if there is one thing that ki is kind of unsettling for me, maybe there is that, because I cannot see, I cannot see Plato as being like a, an exponential yeah, growth. Like imagine two thing. years from now, right? Yeah. They're already starting to do videos, but obviously you can't yeah. use the videos, but once that gets, like what's stopping it from getting cleaner? <laughs> So, yeah, 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 it's nothing. And it will learn how to edit videos. So, yeah, I feel like it's actually going like even just outside of jobs. I feel it's just everything's going to be super generic. The the tech boys like to say, oh, it's going to get everyone creative. Now everyone thinks they're genius creatives. But I'm sorry that, that the process of building it is the creativity. Like it's not just like, oh, there it is. Like you discover new things as you're making it, as you're going through the struggles and the torture. Right. And. It's not like those little subtles, like what we talked about before, that little pocket of uh, bounce light and haze with the moon and the clouds like that. That is from experience and that is creativity of you doing it. It's not like, oh, hey, I just want this moon and casting a shadow across the, uh, the clouds and boom, you got an image. Look, I'm a creative genius. No, you're not. So you're just going to have a bunch of generic stuff made by uncreative people that may have been more creative if they didn't have AI, right? So now it's just like you're limiting their growth. So we're going to have just movies that are just boring, music that's I think, boring. This is going to be the same thing I over think, and over again. 
I think in a way we've been already touching that because of the abundance of content and it's kind of hard to select the really interesting bits. I, I think especially with music, music, if anything, it's a little bit further in terms of industry because now everyone can make music, right? And it's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's a beautiful thing. But if you compare that with uh, the eighties, let's say, or the seventies, when you really needed a massive budget to produce an album that was professional, I think what that made, it's selecting the artist that really had something to say in yeah. whatever field, either as authors or as players. And that was almost like a natural selection early on. Now the natural selection is happening where? At playlist stage? Yeah, it's who's, like, who's who do selecting? you know? It's a connection or do you have a big booty? Like, <laughs> it's just social media, yeah, like exactly. content. I it's don't know. I like... hang out. Look, I have, this is a little bit of a promotion, right? For a friend <laughs> and it's really amazing. I have this friend that for me is a great artist and is a singer, songwriter, and he, he does that professionally he plays in bars and restaurants and hotels and his name is frank bolucci maybe i can write it down for you <laughs> and he released his song angels which i happened to to write the lyrics for i love the song but it it's very hard to make it to promote it and to make people listen to it because there is so much stuff going on all the time people are almost like they won't even give it a go unless there is a friend saying, hey, please, yeah, give it a go, listen to it. Yeah. And how many other beautiful songs are out there yeah. which are probably hidden under a pile of content? Yeah, yeah it's, it's confusing. I mean, Spotify is definitely giving people access to finding a lot of those songs, but the issue is that they don't make money <laughs> when they're making such a great song because of Spotify. Yeah. But now that you have it started with like fruit loops or yeah i think it was fruit loops might have been the first one to really like digitize your instruments and like yep. if you don't have it perfect on, on play you can just adjust it and it's like having that ability to just change it in post is kind of taking away your ability to grow better as an artist i think to really everyone like singing for instance people think they're great singers now but you got auto tune <laughs> it's like yeah where's the creativity where's the beauty coming from or the or just creativity in general where, where like, is the challenge right yeah and i guess i guess the point i was trying to make with the parallel of music is that if at some point you have me journey creating a billion images a day then what is worth looking at yeah why it becomes generic this? it becomes nothing <clears throat> oversaturated but also who shall I admire? You know, yeah. someone was mentioning Yannick Dussault, which to me is a great artist. And he really, I hope he's going to watch this because he really. I, I want to, I need to get his contact so I can interview him. <laughs> he inspired me to become a math painter, right? And to me, it was amazing to look at work people like himself. It was really like a, I felt yeah. like an emotional connection. It was a, yeah. A thing that changed my life that way. If I'm looking at, I imagine myself being, I don't know, 16 years old and looking at a bunch of mid journey images yeah. as wonderful as they may be, and they really are. Well, that tells me that I need to learn download how to prompt. App. Yeah, download an and app and does it for you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so is no, it going to change I, my life? I don't know. Yeah, no, exactly. It's like, it's almost like when you're seeing, actually, I actually had this feeling when AI started pumping out and I'm seeing all these, like, I'm always looking at concepts or images, CG stuff in general, right? And then all of a sudden I'm seeing all these amazing images and I'm just thinking, wait, is this an artist that did it? So then it makes you second guess if an artist actually did it, so then that artist is not going to be as looked at. You're just gonna be like, oh, it's just AI, whatever. And that just means you're throwing away art. Like, it's just, it's really going to shake things up. It's messing things up mentally and emotionally in art in general. Like, the big question is, like, is art even going to be a term anymore in the future? <laughs> right? Like, it's just going to be, like, you, you, back in the day, you'd be like, oh, look at this badass CG dip. 
element, even though it wasn't like perfectly photo real, but you know that a lot of work put into it. Now you're just like, oh, anyone, a 12, 10 year old can do it with some like app thing. Oh, the CG. Oh, it's crazy. It's so good. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. 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 It yeah, changes the parameters and the way you're going to judge things for yeah, sure. And I think as a culture or society, we need art. And this is something maybe, that's kind of... Maybe it's got to become like a personal thing that you do to feel to feel good with yourself. But then the problem is if you cannot make money out of it, then the time that you have available to do art is going to reduce, right? It's not going to be yeah. your full work day, but it's going to be maybe a tiny bit during the weekends. I don't know. It's very different from the life I wanted for myself. And maybe my son yeah. will want one day, right? And maybe there is going to be also a, a movement where things will be certified, made by humans. Yeah, maybe we and go back to classical, because the underground, it will be, art will become the underground instead maybe. of AI. So maybe it'll be a big movement to come back. I think even in the music that might be happening too, people learning old instruments again. Yeah, that we'll see, man. <laughs> we will see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, maybe the trained artists will take advantage of it to make art even better. That's the positive hope. Maybe, maybe. And it's also fair to say that we don't want to watch every single film that comes out. We want to watch the films that connect with us and gives us emotions. So yeah. maybe this is going to be where the play field will, will go. Does this thing give me emotion. But yeah. then again, the filter is who's telling me what to choose amongst those 5,000 things, yeah. music, images, or films, or whatever, games. So yeah, the curators will become more and more important, I guess. Yeah.